anybody working in healthcare knows, right? I mean, like, you know, the, the illnesses and the diseases are hard enough. Yeah. They take it out of you enough, right? And then you, on top of that, you're being put through this system that says, well, you're worthy of this, you're deserving of that, you're not really quite deserving of this next piece. I take my daughters to the public library, right? And it's like nobody is scrutinizing that, oh, your dad is a doctor and he makes such and such amount of money, so you're eligible for getting these kinds of books, but not these kinds of books over here. If you want to get these, you know, these services, you need to do it. It's none of that, right? Like you walk in and you get to like just explore your mind in your education. I would love to see that for healthcare. Now I'm going to present to you that we don't have a healthcare system. We call it a healthcare system, but it's not a healthcare system. It's a collection of for-profit centers with varying quality of medical care where the idea is really to gain profit out of the system, not to take care of people. This fight again, in my view, is not a healthcare fight. I think it is virtually impossible for anybody to defend a system which is so expensive and leave so many people uninsured and underinsured. And very few people do try to make that defense. What our fight is about is a political fight. It's an economic fight. It's a fight that requires us to take on extraordinarily powerful special interest who really could care less if people live or die, whether they suffer or not. For them, the bottom line is their bottom line. And what I want to say as an elected official is at the end of the day, it's not going to be Pramila and I who are going to help lead this fight. It's going to be you. And the good news is that what we're seeing all across this country is more and more doctors' organizations and more and more nurses' organizations and numbers are saying, you know what? We can't do our job under this dysfunctional system. Our job is to treat our patients not to make money for the insurance companies and the drug companies.